Right, hello year 12, Nucle elimination and nucleophilic substitution video. Name and outline the mechanism for the reaction of 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. So that is a halogenoalkane with ethanolic potassium hydroxide. So ethanolic potassium is a trick, well not a trick, it's a spectator ion hydroxide. So there are your clues. All right, they didn't include the word hot, but often they do. So the elimination, elimination is the mechanism. Elimination. The mechanism, 2-bromo-2-methylpropane, and then draw the product as well. So propane, 2-methyl, 2-bromo, or 2-bromo-2-methyl. The product is going to be CH3 twice CCH2. So there's the CCH2 bit. CH3 twice on this. CH3, CH3. And that's it. So basically the difference between this one and this one is the elimination of an H and a BR. So the OH minus, here you have to include the minus. You have to include the lone pair, curly arrow from the lone pair to the hydrogen. The OH minus is acting as a base. And then this comes in and kicks out the bromine. Arrow there, plus H2O, plus BR minus. All right, any arrows incorrect, you've lost the mark. Without any question, any mischarges, you've lost the mark. Any lone pairs, you've missed the mark. An arrow that doesn't come from the lone pair, you've missed the mark. When 2-bromo-2-methylpropane reacts with aqueous potassium hydroxide, all right, with its aqueous potassium hydroxide, we're looking at nucleophilic substitution. There you go, look to that. So the hydroxide ion this time is a nucleophile. Right in a file, not fight. Write an equation for the reaction that occurs when blah, 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 reacts with an excess of ammonia. So CH3, CH2, 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 Br. An excess of ammonia is our... Diagram like this, excess of ammonia. So what's going to happen is... I'll finish this side off in a minute. CH3, CH2, CH2, it's nucleophilic substitution. Don't miss out on another CH2. And that ends up as NH2. That's the substitution there. You make an amine. Um, if you put in two NH3s, you'll make this and you'll make NH4Br, often written with a plus and a minus on. All right. Compound A is a halogen of alkane. Name compound A, one, two, three, four, five. Pent, ane, uh, chloro, methyl, methyl is everything I've got a name now. So that's dimethyl chloro. So chloro alphabetically is first. Chloro, dimethyl, uh, two, three, four, or two, three, and four, both the same. So three chloro, two, four, dimethyl pentane. Reaction of A with warm dilute, warm dilute sodium hydroxide, hydroxide ions, forms alcohol B. Yes, because you're going to replace or substitute this Cl with an OH. Name the mechanism, nucleophilic substitution. Outline the mechanism. So the mechanism is nucleophilic substitution. Outline the mechanism using the structure of A shown. OH minus in, Cl out. Bonus if you're putting in the delta positive and the delta negative on that. Although it doesn't get you the marks, any extra marks. But I would always put it in, just in case. That's come from me. I taught Salter's chemistry for years, which is a different A-level course, and you had to show the partial charges. So uh, that's why I always put it in. And sometimes in AQA it asks... OH. I've emailed a couple of people about this OH thing. Right. The bond has got to go to the O. That, to the middle, no marks. All right? Got to go to the O. Outline of mechanism. You also need to put the Cl minus and you need to finish off these hydrogens. You're not allowed to be lazy. I'm trying to do this quickly. Reaction, hot ethanolic. All right, hot ethanolic is this one, this one, this one. Elimination. 
elimination, role of hydroxide ions base, because they, they are a hydrogen acceptor. Outline of the mechanism. All right, you've got a chlorine here, so the OH minus is going to attack either this hydrogen or this hydrogen, okay? Either of them is fine, and actually this is a symmetrical molecule. So I'm gonna go there, double bond's gonna go there, and this case, Cl minus is gonna go out. This is going to make one, two, three, four, five. You've gonna to have to, you're gonna to have to check that you've not missed any bonds off here. That hydrogen's gone. Naughty. That's there. Nothing there. That's still there. Just seeing what I haven't drawn an arrow on. Because it's, if it hasn't got an arrow on, it's not been involved in the mechanism. Uh, done. One mark for that, one mark for that, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then plus H2O plus Cl minus. Haloalkanes or halogenoalkanes are used in the synthesis of other organic compounds. Hot concentrate, hot concentrated elimination reacts with blah, 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 to form two alkenes that are structural isomers of each other. The major product is 2 methyl butyrene. All right. Hot conch, elimination, mechanism. Right, so depending on which one you choose, let's do the CH3 twice. So I'm going to do CH3, CH3. There's CH3 twice joined to this carbon, and this carbon's got a hydrogen on. I've done up to there. Then the CHBr, and then there is CH3. You could have drawn all the hydrogens on here, you could have drawn all the hydrogens on here. It doesn't say displayed, so this is fine. I know it's hot concentrated, so it's elimination. So you could have gone OH minus there and there. Or you might have chosen, let's see if this is probably a bit too chunky, this pen. I don't know. OH minus there. Go and help yourself. And there. So it's up to you now to just check which one you've drawn, and the other part is the other part is uh, this question. So, CH3, I'm going to expand that CH3 now on the end. In fact, I'm going to expand it over here as well. Don't like it like that. CH3, C, CH3. If I'm doing the black arrows first, C, H is still there. This BR is gone, that's a double bond. C, H2O plus Br minus, and the other will be CH3, C, CH3, but this hydrogen and this bromine will have gone, so the double bond will be here. Uh, that hydrogen will still be there, and this will be CH3 on the end. All right. Pause the video there, check if you want. Okay, that's the other isomer that's formed. I haven't got the mark there, displayed formula. I nearly lost an easy mark there, displayed formula. If you've written a CH3 anywhere on that, you've lost that mark. State the type of structural isomerism. Well, there's a double bond in position number one, double bond in position number two. Positional or position, either of those. Positional or position isomerism. The diagram shows some compounds that are made from halogenoalkane. So this is very similar to our diagram. Halogenoalkane here. Ammonia in that direction. We would have put two arrows on there. Sodium hydroxide aqueous will go there and it will make the alcohol. And this one, C3H6, is an alkene. So this will be OH minus hot ethanol. Draw the displayed formula of compound J. Displayed. So it's going to be this, but with an OH on the end, CH2, CH2, O, bond in there, H. Yep, okay, name the mechanism for reaction two. Reaction two, NUC sub. Conditions, right, so you need excess NH3. Um, other conditions now, is it after the aqueous or ethanolic? Hmm, interesting. Gonna have to check. 
sorry, I would have left it like that, excess NH3. Let's just see if it wants anything else on there. That it would allow. No, it just wanted the excess NH3. Calculate the mass in grams of this produced from 25 grams of this. Right, okay, so CH3, CH2, CH2, Br reacts with two NH3s to make CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2. The key to this being it's a one to one ratio. I don't need the rest of the equation. Right, 25.2 grams of this, 25.2 grams of this. How much of this will be produced? Well, firstly, let's go what it would have been with 100% yield. So we do 25.2. We divide by the MR of this, which is 12, 24, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43 plus... Oh, I haven't got a periodic table. I'm in my lad's room. 43 plus... Uh, is it 80-ish? Right, 123, 25.2 divided by 123, 25.2 divided by 123 equals 5 over 26, 0 0.0397 or whatever rounded what you're doing, 1 to 1 ratio, you're going to make 0 0.0397 moles of this. So to the get back up, you've got to times by the MR, 12, 24, 36, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 55, 59 times 59 equals 2.34 grams. I need to check this in a minute because I could easily make a mistake. Yes, I have made a mistake. It's not 2.34. It's going to be 24. Oh, hang on, let me do it again. 25.2 divided by... I can't remember the MR. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just going to dig the MRs out of here. An easy question. I'm just uh, haven't got a period of table. I'm trying to do it quickly. It's coming back to bite me. Uh, moles 122.9 divided by 122.9 times by. Fifty nine times by fifty nine. Okay. 25.2 divided by 122.9. 25.2 divided by 122.9 equals that answer. That's where I went wrong. It wasn't that number. 0 0.205 and then times 59. 12.097. Uh, Alright, 12.097. Then I want 75% of that. Times 0 0.75 equals 9 grams. Yeah, 9.07. So you get this answer, uh, which is 12-ish grams, and then you have to do 75% of it. Right. Reagents and conditions used for reaction 3. Uh, halogeno alkane going to an alkene. So that's hot ethanolic reagents and conditions. KOH, NaOH. You are not allowed to write OH minus. You have to actually put a K or an N in front of it. Name and outline a mechanism. Elimination mechanism. CH3. CH2, CH2, Br. OH minus, not this one, carbon next to the carbon with the halogen attached. One. All right. So you'll end up with bang, bang, double bond there. H, 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 plus a Br minus plus H2O. All right, again, check you've got a minus charge on here. Check that your arrow comes from the lone pair. Uh, check each carbon at the end that you've got four bonds to each carbon. Check that you've written down the products. Any of them, you've missed, you've missed the mark. Right, take the meaning of the term structural isomers. Same molecular formula, different structure. 
Name and draw the mechanism for the formation of one of the isomers. 2-bromo-2-methylpentane is heated with potassium hydroxide, so that's OH minuses dissolved in ethanol. Okay, ethanolic. So we're dealing with elimination. Mechanism. 2-bromo-2-methylpentane. So I'll do the pentane first. Five in a row. 2-bromo. I'll put the bromine here. 2-methyl. I'll put the methyl here. And this question revolves around the fact that you could end up with a double bond in this position or a double bond in this position, depending on which one you attack. So if you did the mechanism of putting a double bond in this position, from the lone pair to the H, double bond there, bromine kicked out. So you could have done the OH, whoops, so you could have done it in this position. Lone pair there, minus there. All right. Name and draw the mechanism for the formation of one of the isomers. You just have to do one of the isomers. So then you would draw the product. Five. If I did these arrows, the double bond would be there. The CH3 would be here. Or the double bond would be there. And the CH3 would be here. You would have to check that you put in all of the other hydrogens. You check that you didn't put in too many here. You didn't put an extra one there. In other words, count up the number of bonds on each of your carbons to check that you've got that right, please, and included the H2O and the Br-. minus. Every mistake you make loses your mark. All right, next. Which of the following is the correct mechanism for the formation of 2-methylbutyene? Right, firstly, this mechanism looks good. So nothing wrong with any of those arrows. However, um, I want but 2 in, and that's going to be a but 1 in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, there's your but, and there's the position number 2. All right, this is going to go, don't, 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 that is looking very likely to me. That arrow's fine, that arrow's fine, that arrow's fine. You'll have a double bond here, so you'll have a double bond here. 2 methyl, 2 butene. I'm pretty sure that's right. Well, that's wrong. Because you're attacking the wrong carbon. That just won't work. Uh, and that's just nonsense. B. Consider the following reaction in which an alkene is formed from a haloalkane. If you form an alkene from a haloalkane, it's elimination. Heat and ethanol. Oh, sorry. Name the haloalkane. One, two, three, four. Bute. Two. Bromo. Butane. Name and outline a mechanism. Elimination. Mechanism CH3, CH, Br, CH2, CH3, uh, plus KOH, meh, just OH minus in it, mate. You need to go slower than me in the exam, alright? So you could either go there, and there, or you could have gone over here, there, and there, alright? Fine, yeah? Plus H2O, plus Br minus, any arrows incorrect, lose a mark. Wah, wah. Check all your bonds, any bonds incorrect, lose a mark. Wah, wah. Another alkene, which is the structural isomer of butyrene, is also formed. Which one does it want? Oh, it wanted me forming butyrene. My bad, just stop for a sec. It would only accept these arrows then. These are the only ones that will give you butyrene, because it will put the, but, the alkene in the middle. All right, the other structural isomer is going to be but1e, uh, which is going to be double bond there. Sorry, I'm not reading the questions very carefully. That's not a very good exam technique. You need to read the questions a lot more carefully than I am. Structural isomers, same molecular formula, different structure. Same molecular formula, different structural formula. Yay! I did it! I did it! I'm done. I've finished. Bye.